Stranglers se mi páčilo. Takže Stranglers vás bavili. No. Tak my se teďka o nich pustíme příspěvek teda. Dobrý. Dobrý. Je to jedna z prvních punkových kapel, která hraje už od první poloviny 70. let. Od roku 1990 mají nového zpěváka a mimochodem s nimi hrál sedm let spoluzakladatel propellerhead Alex Gifford. The song was uh, actually written about a very strange, surreal episode that we had um, in uh, Amsterdam with the Hells Angels. The uh, Dutch government had given them their own clubhouse just outside of the city so they wouldn't cause trouble in the city this kind of way. And they, every member of the Hells Angels was given money by the Dutch government just to be nice. And, which, and um, the authorities must have known that they were dealing with lots of cocaine and prostitution and they had a great life, you know. You know, Harley Davidson's, no work and just collect your money from the government. It's like, so we thought that was quite, pretty nice and sleazy, you know. <laughs> I, no, I don't. I don't know if fashion. Well, <laughs> I, I don't think it was only fashion. I think it was uh, bullshit, and also uh, as a movement, most of the bands couldn't write fucking songs. Really, at the end, it's you know you have to write a song. You can have a great haircut, you can have great clothes, a great image, and say the right thing to be politically correct and all that bullshit. But if you don't write a song, yeah, a decent song, which is intelligent, which lasts. So, to stand the test of time, I suppose you're kind of destined to die, aren't you? Who has the father? Is it always a man with the gun? Someone must have told him if you were too hard, you could sweat. He's always the sun. He's always the sun. Like sun, lace me down with my mind. She goes, Who are the nine? No need to fight. Now for a frown with good and brown. Are you still in contact with Alex Gifford? Alex, um, every time, uh, just like no, I've been in touch with him for a couple of years, but he's very busy at the moment. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. He's very busy, so I'm very happy for him. He's one of the most talented people I've ever met. And, uh, I mean, he was as good as me on bass, which is not saying much, but I mean, he could have, he could have replaced me any day on the bass and strings. It's fucking fantastic. He was brilliant. I mean, he was our saxophone player. He's just got talent. He's got so much talent. I could kill him. I mean, he's just an amazing uh, engineer, amazing uh, piano player, jazz piano player. He's just one of these kids which you, you, you hate, you want to scratch his eyes out, cut his balls off. No, he's very talented and I think Propeller is very good. Good and Brown. 